looks good. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the morning routine in Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren, this is Ian, and we're in our house. You can do this anywhere, including your living room or your dining room. <laughs> we'll get started. Nice warm up. We've been working on some crawls on Sundays, and we're going to work on our crab crawl, visiting our bear crawl, but first we'll warm up. Standing tall, sitting, kneeling, whatever you'd like. Let's start with our head neck. Mm -hmm. Get in your groove. Slowly reach your chin forward. Look at chicken neck. And then smush your face straight back to get some double shins. Pulling the crown tall to the ceiling. Pardon? Like a bulldog. Like a bulldog. Reach forward. Triple chin. No one's looking. Really triple it up there. Last one. Reach forward, slide your head straight back. Great. Keep that slightly, maybe not three chins, maybe more two. Now pull tall to the ceiling and then do a gentle side bend or ear to shoulder. Now using these long muscles, pull your head back on straight to the other side. Ear to shoulder and then use your lung muscles to pull your head back on straight. One more time each side, up and over, ear to shoulder, pull, and last time, ear to shoulder, and pull on straight. Great, we'll do one more head neck, we'll add our rotation. Rotate, looking over a shoulder, back to center, Rotate, looking over a shoulder to center. Nothing else is moving, just your head neck. Try not to look further than your head's going. Back to center, last time the other way. And center, shake that out. Nice, let's extend our arms and just get our blades moving a little bit here. Arms start low. At your shoulder blades, slowly start drawing some backward circles. Keep your elbows nice and straight. Arms are long for the ride, but the blades are directing the motion. Continue drawing these black backward circles, but slowly let your arms raise up a little bit more. Backward circles, maybe even working towards overhead. One or two more backwards. And then let's stay here, but switch the directions, forwards. That means forward, down, back, up. Forward, down, back, up. Check in with your elbows, are they straight? Your arms are gonna start falling now, coming back towards we started at the sides of your body. Elbows again. Last couple forward blade circles. And relax. Great, let's look at our hands here. Elbows bent, palms face the ceiling. I want you to rotate your hand down and look what happened to your elbow donation. Rotate your hand up. Hopefully, when you did this, your elbow donation didn't really move. Check it out for a few more. Those are your wrists moving. Okay, we'll get back into that in a second. Arms extended at your side. Blades back, abs braced, butt squeezed. Start cramping up your biceps like you have 50 pounds in each arm. Slowly curl, 50 pounds, all the way up to full closed elbows. Close them tight, tight, tight. Now do what we just did at the wrist, rotate. Palms face away from you. Now extend your elbows like you're pushing 50 pounds down and away from you. Straighten your elbows so much you get a tricep cramp, hold. Three, two, keep that tension. Slowly start closing your arms again. You're pulling 50 pounds up closed. Pull, 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 pull. Rotate, palms face you. And then grab those 50 pound dumbbells and pull them down resisting gravity. Extending at the elbows. Straighten those elbows at the very bottom and hold. Straighten your elbows. Four, three, two, 
and relax. Oh. Sizzle, in. Sizzle in. Great. Sorry, just got my notes there on the floor here today. I want to just look at one more thing at our arms. If we extend our arms just slightly out to our side, look at one, do the same thing. Rotate just your hand. Can you rotate your hand and keep that donation in the same spot? Okay. Now I want you to look at this bone here. This is your humerus, very similar to your femur. Ha 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 ha, it's not that funny, Ian. Your humerus can, just like your femur, rotate in and rotate open. So I want you to think about taking that bone and rotating it closed. Look, this is me rotating my humerus closed. This is me pretending I have way more by rotating my wrist. Then I'm going to open up that humerus, rotate it closed, rotate it open. Noticing my blade isn't really moving, the shoulder's stationary. Maybe once more, internal, external. Okay, relax that, let's try the other arm. I did say have both arms up, hopefully you only got focused on one arm. Same thing other side. This side is much harder for me. My humerus is, let's say, up towards the ceiling here. I'm gonna try to internally ugh, rotate it. But again, check out where your hand is. Is, it, is your hand doing way more? And then externally rotating it, trying to rotate that back up. Internal, I have my hand on my shoulder as to, to keep it here and to not get dumpy here, okay? Externally rotate one more, internally rotate one more, and then relax it. I know, crazy, the body is crazy. All right, let's do our rib slides here. Good. Okay, see that rubber plant behind Ian? We just replanted that yesterday. She's so nice. She's growing tall. Or he. Feet wider than hips. Block your hips. Squeeze your butt. Take your arms out to the side or across your chest. And let's slide our rib cage. I take your rib cage, I pull it to one side. And then I slide it back to center. And then I pull it to the other side. Slide it back to center. Repeat a couple more times. Reaching out the window and then pulling myself back. Reaching out the other window, pulling myself back. Great. Let's try the same thing, but forward back. Chest comes forward or rib cage slides forward. My hips stay. My rib cage slides behind me, but notice my blades didn't round. Cage slides forward. Cage slides back. One more. Cage slides forward. Cage slides back. Relax your shoulders. Great. I just love those so much. I'd like to connect all those points and draw our nice circle this direction. Ready? Take your cage forward. Slide your cage to the right. <clears throat> Pull it back on that far side of the circle all the way behind you. Your cage starts to slide across to the left at the back of the circle, as far as it can to the left. And then it's gonna draw this outside circle as it comes back to the front. And that's where we started. Pull your cage back onto your body. Let's reverse the direction. Cage slides forward. Cage slides left back around the circle. I imagine my shoulder drawing a circle. Back side of the circle to the right. Pulling my cage around the front side of the circle. And then cage slides to body. Oh, good old rib cage. All right, some hips and some shoulders. Two ball and socket joints and our only ball and socket joints. I think that's correct. All right, hands, W, W. Slowly bring your hands behind the back of your head. Don't touch your skull. If you have a ponytail, you can lightly touch it, but don't touch your skull. Check in with your ribs, hips. Are you flaring 
or are you connected here? Check in with your head and neck. Is it stacked on top of your head? Or are you reaching your head forward to try to make more room? From here, just slowly extend at the elbows to make a V or a W. Let's call this our W. That's what I meant, a Y, sorry. Now, back behind your head. Okay, extend back out to your Y. Try to straighten those elbows out in that Y. Set your shoulders one more time. Check in with ribs, butts, hips, back ahead. One more time, extend out. Straighten your elbows, connect ribs, hips. Pull your elbows in towards your side to make your W. And then just relax. All right, hips. Grab a nice stationary object, like my imaginary stationary object. It's gonna become real in three, two. The magic of TV. All right, hip circles. Would you like to join me? Yeah. That's nice. Bring, stand tall on your inside leg. Bring your front leg to the front. We're gonna do a couple of our socket rotations. Just like we did earlier at our shoulder or at our humerus, but now our femur is going to externally rotate, showing me the inseam to center, internally rotate, showing the outseam. Do that a couple more times. As you do this, think about a couple things. My hips or my bowl of punch is not moving. It's only the leg in the socket. Check out what your ankle is doing. Is my ankle over-rotating what my leg's actually doing? Or is my ankle just in line with the rest of my leg? My foot, I should say. Now go to external rotation so I see your inseam. Check in with this hip. Take the leg right to the side, right beside you. Almost like heels are in the same line or sometimes I even push that and go heels to my arch because I like my hips to push forward. Same thing here. Leg comes to the front and then internally rotates, opens back up, externally rotates. One more, internal, hide that inseam, don't fake it with your ankle. Reach behind you and pull all the way underneath. Stay tall, 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 tall. Now keep this tall posture, reach straight to the back. Keep the tall, straighten the knee. Open it up in its socket. Reach the leg around the side of the body. Reach, 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 all the way to the front. Unrotate, bring it under you. Shake it out. Switch sides, beep boop. Same thing, it's hot. Get warm. Get warm. Okay, tall on the inside leg. Leg comes to the front first. We do our external internal rotation. External first, inseam. Center, outseam. Checking in with my ankle. It's not over rotating or my foot. External, my hips aren't doing more work. Internal, now this time go external, stay external. Show me the inseam, take it to the side. Check in, yes it's beside me and my hips are forward. I'm tall on my inside leg. Internally rotate that outside leg and then externally rotate it. Internally rotate it and reach it behind you. Uh, knee straight and then pull your leg underneath, stay tall, 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 tall. Now keep that height, reach straight to the back, open up the key in its socket, turn it, turn it, turn it, pull the leg all the way to the front, unrotate underneath. Ha! <sighs> Shake it out. It's my side, I think. Okay. All right, we're back to our shoulders and our alphabet, so bear with me. Excuse me, I'm just going to turn my back to you all in. Okay, turn around completely then. Arms are extended out at your sides. Palms face behind you. Slowly start bending your elbows and bringing your hands up behind your back. Slow, good. A couple things to check in with here. Are my hands or my wrists doing crazy things like trying to reach more? Okay. Where are my shoulders? Are they really hunched forward or could I pull them back a bit more? Where's my head and neck? Where's my rib cage? Squeeze your butt, brace your abs. Now, slowly extend at the elbows to make what we'll now call our V. 
All right, we're in our V position here. Elbow super straight, reset shoulders, tuck ribs, and then bend the elbows, try to come back up behind your body again. Try not to touch your body. Hold, three, two, extend at the elbows again. Straighten up triceps. Reach, pull your blades back. Pull those blades back, yep. Hold, three, two, one more time. Internally rotate. Pull those blades down. Nice, three, two, one more time at the elbows, extend. Let's just pause and link these. So now I'm extended the elbow. Could I start lifting my arms and rotating so my palms start to face into my forward position? Good. And then we'll pull those down to our side. We'll go from there after. Nice. Back to the old hips. Hippity hop, hip, hip, hop. Okay, we're going to open this window again. You might hear some traffic, but it's better than me passing out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a little bit of work in our hips this time. Tall on the inside leg. Use your balance aid so it's not about balance. We'll do balance later. Pulling out the upside, pulling up the outside leg so that we find that first toe knuckle or that knuckle with our first big toe. Tall here, leg here. Place your hand on your quad. Don't let your quad lower. Slowly straighten at the knee and hold for five, four, Three, two, bending, bringing the toe back to where it started. Stay tall, maybe stay there, maybe slide up a little bit. We're gonna do three, so don't get excited. Okay, hand on quad, tight here. Slowly extend, don't let that hand drop. Hold, even though my leg's reaching out, I'm still thinking about pulling it back in. Two, one, bend underneath. One more, maybe you can go higher. Hips are still level here. Hand, don't let it drop. Straighten. Five, four, three, two. Bend it. Keep it high. Brush it straight back behind you. Extend at the knee. Shake it out. How the side. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm surprised you chose that. That's not your. That's not your style. Of drill. It's not my style. I like it. Needed some work. Tall on the inside leg. Pointed foot, biggie toe on malleolus. Tall, butt squeezed. Hand on quad. Slowly straighten at the knee. Even though my leg is reaching that way, I'm pulling it in its socket. Hold. Three, two, bend, return it to malleolus. Slide it up a little bit. Hold. Straighten at the knee. Five, four, three, two, bend. One more, slide, tall, extend. Five, four, three, two, bend. Brush straight back, extend, extend, extend. Knee straightens, relax. Shake it out. Great. Have a sip. We're going to... See, normally I can look at the clock without looking at my watch, so it's not like I'm looking at the time. Not in here. I'm having a great time. Just need to stay on track. All right, we're connecting our upper arms and our lower arms together for one move. Let's start at the top, which means... Excuse me. Start in your W. Stand tall, check in with ribs, hips, squeeze your butt, connect right away. Slowly bring your arms up to behind your head. Remember, no touching your skull. From here, Y first, YMCA, Y, elbow straight. Start bringing your arms down to pass through your T. See, find your T first, then at the humerus like we did earlier, internally rotate. Then start dropping your arms through your V. Come up behind you, no crazy wrists. Shoulders stay set and back. Hold, three, two, one. Keep the tension, but extend beside you to your V. 
arms start raising, humerus starts externally rotating, so your palms end up facing forward. Great, up through your Y, hands bend behind head. One more time, hands behind head, elbows out, ribs, hips, head in line. One last time. Let's do it in a second. Oh, Ian needs a break. Pull your arms to your side, shake it out. Isn't that intense? It is intense. Sorry. You need a second. Not used to these Sunday mornings. Yeah. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, let's, let's do that again. All right, W. Hands behind head. Sorry, my sleeves are just blocking in my giant biceps. From here, slowly extend at your elbows. Y. Set your shoulders. Good. Tuck your ribs, hips. Pass down to your T. Internal humerus rotation. Notice it's not just my hands. Internal, I know it's hard to see. I come down to my V. Before you go behind your back, pull your blades back. There. Now keep them there as you come up behind your back. No crazy hands. No faking what you don't have. Shoulders down and back. Three, two, extend to your V. Elbows, elbows, elbows. Up to your T. Then humerus rotate. Y, behind head, holding ribs, hips, three, two, W, pull down, and relax. W, smack down. <laughs> that was great. Stay tuned. That'll be next week. All right, one last hip move, and then we're crawling. Same position as last time, uh -oh. but to the side. Uh -oh. I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not that long. No, you fine. won't have room, though. That's good. I'll, I'll do the side. Okay. Just stay here for now. Yeah. I just replanted that cactus, too. She looks so we good. Have other apparatus in All right. Room. Outside leg pulls up to malleolus. Tall on the inside leg. Stay tall. Open this leg from the hip. Oh, now let's close that. Get tall on this leg. When you open, don't get droopy on this leg. I did. See that? Droops, not droops. Good. It's side. Both these headlights are still forward though. Hand on leg. Three, two, extend, hold. Five, four, three, two, bend low. Maybe you stay. Maybe you slide. Hold, extend, five, four, three, two, bend, stay tall, up, last one, five, four, three, forward, Lauren, left, right, hip, forward, two, right, hip, forward, Lauren. Yeah. one, yeah. Uh, bend, Ugh. to center, brush, extend. Take a sip and cry a little. Ah, same thing, other side. So light, those legs, so light. All right. Yeah, might kick you in the butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Toe pulls up or knee pulls up. Tall on the inside leg. Ready? Stay tall even when you open. That's hard. Let's do that again. Close. Stay tall even when you open. Okay, we're open. These are forward. Hand on leg. Three, two, extend. Hold. Five, four, three, two, bend. Maybe up. Slowly extend. Hold. Five, four, three, two, bend. One more. Extend. Last one here for five, four, Three, two, bend, brush center, brush back, straighten knee, <sighs> shake it out. Great. Prop guy? Yep. Okay. Prop person. All right. Are these in your living room? Yes, yeah, so we just have foam rollers in our living room. All right. We're coming down to warm up our wrists and then to get into a little bit of a bear right away. 
let us slowly try to keep your heels down, low squat. Heels down, low squat. Little tiptoes, maybe you can drop a little lower. Find your knees, if that doesn't work for you, come on down another way. We'll practice that in a little bit, but first we'll warm up our wrists. From your all fours, grip the floor with your hands. Switch what? Positions. Sure. All face forward. Hands gripping the floor. So hard that those fingers and knuckles are turning white. Pack your shoulders, rotate your donations forward. Start drawing some circles with your shoulders to cause shoulder, uh, wrist circles and weight distribution through all your fingers. So as you go to one side, it's gonna displace through the pinky, through the ring, through the middle, through the index, thumb, and then to the other side, through the fingers. Once you've done about two circles one way, let's draw two circles the other way, making every finger take that load. Back to center. Push off your hands, shake it out. I want you to first sit like this. Toes are tucked underneath, tall here. Squeeze your butt. Just push some weight back into those toes, giving them a little stretch. So I'm just trying to bend them further. Let them take some load right now. Three, two, come out of that. We'll put our hands back on the floor. This time, sideways. Fingers face out. Shoulders down, donations forward, shift your weight lateral, push fingers back, lateral, push. Using those fingers to center. Now, once you're here, gently bend the elbows and peel the hands, palms up, and then fingers pry away from the floor. Great. You only have two knuckles? Two knuckles. Now, <laughs> Sit with feet like this. Oh my, those are dirty. Dirty feet. <laughs> you don't want to see those. Sit with feet like this. And let's try to sit down here. Oh, no problem. No problem, Bob. Or, oh, stretchy, crampy. If it's no problem, Bob, could you sit back a little bit? Even more of that stretch. Sometimes. And then extend up. Let's go back to toes tucked. And could we try to keep our toes tucked and sit back this time? And that's probably going to give you that more of that bottom of the foot stretch. <sighs> untuck toes. Sorry, extend hips, untuck toes. One last quick wrist. Fists. Make fists in front of you. Place your hairy knuckles down on the ground. Pack your shoulders. Keep one fist closed. Slowly open one hand so the back of the hand comes towards the floor. Fingers spread out, pinky down, ring down, middle down, index down, thummy down. Rotate donation forward, pack your shoulder, feel stretch. Now make your fist pushing away from the floor to close. Other side, gently open up hand. Fingers down, check, 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 check. Donation forward, shoulder packed, push away to close. Last one each side. Open up, spread fingers. Oh, Ian's modifying from the wall and close. Last time, other side. Open up hands, spread fingers, and pull closed. Great. Shake it off. Let's connect our ankle squats for one here. So I want you first untuck toes. Sitting back. All right. Squeeze butts. Extend hips. Toes tuck. With or without hands, rock back to find first toe squat, then heel squat. Knees over toes. Good. Chest lifted. Stand up tall. Let's come back down. Heels stay down first. Knees over toes. Then heels can pop. Soft landing on knees with or without hands. Extend your hips. Untuck toes. Sit back. One more. 
It's one of my favorite series. It's good. If you want a little bonus, could you try to extend back, trying to leave, push your hips forward too, and then up matrix style, toes tuck, with or without hands. Toes first, heels second, stand up. We're gonna end up on the floor, so we might as well come back down. Heels down, toesies, soft knee landing. Hips extend, untuck toes, last sit. All right, it's bear crawl time. Let's crawl around. First like a bear, which means all four, opposite hand and knee. If you don't wanna travel, you don't have to travel, you just hold. Hands under your shoulders, toes are tucked. Pack your shoulders, brace your abs, slowly lift your knees up off the floor. Keep that tension, pulling the floor together underneath you. Let's not move, but just hold. For five, could you think, it's gonna be longer than five, could you think about lifting a foot, don't twist. Lift a foot, don't twist. Put it down. Other foot, don't twist. Put it down, one more time each foot. Hold, put it down, other side, hold. Put it down, knees come down. All right, I'm gonna go lateral. Little curl sideways. Where are you gonna go, Ian? I'll go forward first. Okay. I'm gonna switch it up those. Pick a direction, we're gonna do this once. Forward or lateral, you're going opposite hand or foot together. Ready, shoulders pack, but don't really squeeze, but brace your abs, lift your knees. Whichever direction you're going, opposite hand and foot step. If you wanna do the previous drill again, you could. No twisting or dipping, don't spill that bowl of water off your back. Four or five steps one way, four or five steps back. I like to think about keeping my knees the same distance off the floor the whole time and rest. Whew. Extend your hips up to tall. Tuck your toes, They're, they should be tucked, yep. Rock back to your low squat. Find your heels, stand up tall, shake it out. Wipe your brow or your lip. All right, time to balance. Find somewhere that is so steady in your room. That mat's squishy. I know, I want that. Solid floor. Solid. All right, my feet are in parallel underneath me. I am going to just find a balance here. Slowly roll yourself up into a straw, squeeze your butt, brace your abs, hold. Wherever your hands are, just hold them. Be so steady there. Once you find your steadiness, maybe that's all you're doing is just finding steadiness, this is fine. If you'd like to add, could you move your head around, changing your gaze as you do that. Back to center, grow taller out of this. Now keep your knees straight and slowly start finding the floor with your heels. Slow, 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 slow. Three, two, one. Shake it off. All right, it's Elefante time. That's French for elephant. Spanish. Elefante? Elephant. Horrible. Anyway. Don't come here for other lessons, just for movement. We are going to hinge. We're gonna get right into our elephant. So hinge, nice long spine. Then you'll have to tip forward a little bit. Keep tilting your tail to the ceiling. Your heels might come off as you find the floor with your hands. Gently pushing the floor away right now with your shoulders. Try to push your heels down towards the floor, tilting your tail to the ceiling, pushing your chest through your knees, breathing. Let's just take a couple seconds here. Are your heels finding closer to the floor? Could you lift your toes? Could you tilt your tail more to the ceiling and straighten your knees? And then just find your knees down for a second. Taking time off your hands. We're gonna walk in our elephant if that felt good for you. 
Opposite hand and foot steps. Forward, sideways, stationary, whatever you'd like. Hinge, hands on floor. Butt lifts, opposite hand and foot. Take that little baby step. Keep that tail tilted to the ceiling. <sighs> Breathing, pushing the floor away. Keeping those knees straight. Five, three, two, one. Come down to knees again. Come down to knees, good. Untuck toes. Yep. Squeeze your butt, extend your hips. Tuck toes. Rock back. Let's try to find toe squat. Up on two toes. Two toes. Just two. Slowly descend. Which two? The big toe only. All right, we're back to our balance again. Find a non squishy place. I'd like to just keep that parallel position again. So find parallel, get your groove. Roll yourself up, find steady balance first. Two feet, hold. Maybe this is enough of a challenge for you. If you'd like more, squeeze those glutes tight, brace those core tight. Maybe think about transferring weight onto a single leg and holding that balance. For five, four, three, two, place the foot down, grow tall again. Try transferring weight to the other side. Think about stacking the hip, the shoulder, the ankle, the knee. Hold five, four, three, two. Two toes down, two feet down, and then slow descend. Five, knees straight, four, three, two, down. Doing so well until. Doing so well. Until. Okay. Oh. It's time to lizard. Get ready. Hinge. Walk yourself out to a high plank position. Take one foot. Bring it up beside your hand. Oh, yeah. Think about a couple things here. Is my spine nice and long? And my shooting energy out my front knee and out my back heel. This feels really good. Now, pull everything together. Brace, squeeze, try to lift your front foot, and then put it back where you got it. Same thing other side. Other foot comes up to hand. Reach along out your back heel. Shoot energy out your front knee. Reach, reach, reach. Now, pull together. Brace. Abs, put it back where you got it. Just put your knees down for a second. That was nice. Sit up tall. If you'd like, continue on with that stationary one than the other, if that's what your room gives you. If you want to have fun and crawl, we're going to do no rules lizard crawling in here because it's going to be multi-directional. Leaping, Leaping lizards. So if you're going to crawl with us, follow us. If not, do that same thing about uh, two to four more times, two to three more times each side. Hands under shoulders, lift to your high plank. Bring a foot up. If you're gonna crawl, I want you to take your back leg, whatever that is, in your opposite hand and lift them and then walk forward so that the next foot comes up. Once you're there, opposite back leg and front hand, lift, do -de do 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 crawl around. Try that again, opposite. Lift and lower. Then one more time. Opposite. Don't get kicked in the face. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it got close. And then two feet come up. Low squat, chest lifts. Hop, tall. Great. If you haven't stood up, come on up. Have some water. Look at Ian hydrating. So great. Let's hydrate together. All right, balance again. I just feel so in the corner over there. I know. Parallel, or sorry, parallel feet, touching, 
rotate out from the glutes, first position. Butts are squeezed, feet are slightly out. All right, push down to go up. Hold your two-footed balance here. The whole time I'm holding this balance, I'm trying to show you that inseam of both of my pants as best as I can. I'm trying to straighten my knees even more, and I'm trying to push the floor away to get even taller. Still could take a punch. I want you to push your weight over one foot, thinking about transferring that. Three, two, back to center. Push your weight over the other foot. Think about transferring it. Three, two, two feet. Slowly heels come down. They land where they started. Push your heels forward. Straighten your knees. Push your heels forward. Straighten your knees. Relax. We have one more crawl. It's where the crab meets the bear. So we know the bear. Let's come down that first. Hinge. Hands find floor, knees find floor. We're familiar with our bear. So let's flip on our bottom behind. Feet are on the floor. Fingers are facing backwards. Shoulders are packed. Chest is lifted. Ready. For the first time, let's lift our hips one or two inches off the floor. How does this feel? Could I shift my weight a bit side to side? Could I think about lifting a foot or lifting another foot or ooh, lifting a hand's crazy? And then bottom comes back down. Reset. Set your shoulders. Lift. Maybe that's what's good for you. Or could we extend more into a high tabletop position? Squeezing those glutes, extending those hips and holding here for three, two. Now butt drops and comes under you. Butts down on the floor now. Let's walk through this pattern. If we were to ever flip from our crab to our bear, we would lift opposite hand and foot. So what that would look like is I'd be up, my butt would be up. I'd lift my right hand, my left foot. I'd flip to my bear. And then I'd lift my right hand and my left foot again. And I'd flip back. Great, Ian's doing the modified version where the knee just comes to the floor. Also very great. All right, if you'd like to join us, let's try. Otherwise, hold your crab. Butt lifts. Take a right hand and a left foot and start rotating to your bear. Could you stay and hover? Three, two, those same two that lifted the first time, lift again to get you back to where you came from. <laughs> Yeah. And hold three, two, butt comes down. While well, Ian sorts out his lefts and rights, let's go the same thing the other direction. Lift hips. Now I'm going to lift my right foot and my left hand and rotate. Bear hold. Three, two, one. Left hand, right foot. Crab hold. Three, two, hips come down. You got it? You figured it out? Okay, great, great, great. He wants to keep going. Let's do one more crab, bear, and bear play. Play between your crab and your bear, whether it's moving, transitioning, crawling. 30, 20 seconds in my head. Ready, set, go. Maybe it's doing your flips again. Could you flip all the way around? Extending the hips. Going back to where you came from. Could you walk in your crab? Also opposites for about five, four, three. If you could, let's transition to a bear one last time. Knees come down. Nice. Put those flat feet down. Then extend your hips. Then tuck your toes with or without hands. Heels and up. Heels and up. Good listening. <laughs> Drink. Let's finish with one more balance. I think the hardest balance. Let big, biggie, second. The grand, the grand finale here. Stand in parallel. Rotate your legs open. Point. Now look. 
I'm standing on my single leg here. So point, stand on a single leg, then put that down. Because now I know I could here, or I could here, here, or here. Okay. From this place, you're a piece of nice toast. I'm going to make some sourdough after this spread. Anyway, toast, slide in the toaster. Shift your load over, straightening that leg. Hold, three, two, slide. There's a ceiling over top of you. Don't hit your head. Slide to the other side, straightening this knee. Hold. Back foot, foot comes back down, slides back across. Other side again. If that was hard enough, you stay there. If you want more, could you lift that long leg and hold? Three, two, toe, ball, heel, slide across. Other side, straightening the other leg, pointing, finding balance to hold. Three, two, toe, ball, heel, slide across. Straighten, find balance, more, straighten the knee, hold balance here, three, two, knee over toe, toe ball heel, slide across, leg straightens, transfers weight, extends at the knee, three, two, knee over toe, toe ball heel, one more time, slide. Straighten that leg, extend at the knee, find a toe balance, three, two, one, heel comes down, don't use the wall if you're going to show off, knee over toe, slide across, transfer load, extend at the knee, roll up to the toe balance, hold, three, two, one, safe landing, knee over toe, toe ball heel to center, toast pops straight up and shake it out. Great. Well, I'm warm, ready to bake that bread. It's hot. hot, it's gonna be hot in the kitchen. Thank you for joining us this morning on the morning routine. My name's Lauren, this is Ian, this is our house. These are our plants. There's one really cool one here. Show you next time. We'll show you next time. Stay tuned. That's, well, I bet you can't wait. What yeah. kind is it? What kind? We'll see you soon. Any questions or comments, let us know. Otherwise, check out our website. Check out our YouTube. Stay tuned for more videos. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.